I think the guys you're welcome back to Preface Chemicals. My name is Waha Biliamin Oladimeji. Today, guys, I want to take you through how you can produce black gloss paint. To produce black gloss paint, you need about four or five chemicals that are very important when producing black gloss paint. This is resin. This is what they call resin. Resin is an important chemical in gloss production. It is the binder. What we call binder in emulsion, we mean acrylic in emulsion. But when it comes to gloss paint, the binder is a resin. It's one that gives the paint quick dry adhesiveness to compose to withstand all other chemicals. It's the main chemical in the gloss paint production resin after resin is resin and others so to produce a gloss black four liter paint you need a resin and then you need the paste which is this this what we have here can produce a four liter even we can take can produce more than four liter is what we have is an imported black paste this is an original black paste compared to the local there, there are two different there are different type of paste when you want to produce paint and the type of paste you are buying will determine the coverage of capacity and uh, the quality because what we have here is an imported paste it comes in this container something like it sealed together so if you want to produce a quality black gloss paint you need to buy quality and after you get your paste, is that you use your black paste or your pigment? But today we are using black paste to produce our gloss paint. Then we have the mist dry. What is the importance of this in gloss production? This is what gives the paint fast dry, mist dry. You just need a little percentage of it in your gloss paint production. Then we have our anti skin. What is the importance of anti skin in gloss paint production? The secret about anti-skin is just like the preservative to gloss. It's not like the gloss will smell or gloss will decay. When you have your anti-skin in gloss and it's not exposed to the atmosphere, your gloss will be there 5, 4, 3, 2 years, depending on how long it is in the container, unless it is being exposed. It is this anti-skin that will not allow the gloss surface to dry. Sometimes if you are a painter or you have been using paint before, if you have a left over, over gloss paint in your container when you open it you see some dry surface that you have to peel like you are peeling a paper or a liner it is the effect of this when this is in the container you won't get something like that coming up in your paint then you need this is very important and this these are the two measuring equipment we are using because this will make you to know the quantity of materials you are adding in your gloss point production. Then I have here, this is my stirrer. This, my, this is very important. If you are a producer, you can just fabricate this and get a drilling machine to fire, to blend, if you are starting up too, like me. So let's get started and see how to produce black gloss paint. Your solvent, which is the kerosene, is the major solvent in gloss paint production. This is why it is called solvent based paint. If you are producing gloss paint, you can't mix gloss with water. Can nothing like water is involved in the production of gloss. It is kerosene. If you want to start up production of paint, and you are thinking of you want to start with gloss paint, I think. Stay tuned to the end of this video and see how we're producing the gloss black paint. So, guys, I'm I'm trying to fix my machine. I have the resin in the bucket already. So now is to fix up the machine. See, I've fix, I've fixed it up. So this is the machine I will use when to producing gloss paint. You can either use stick, you can use a stick, a wood, anything that is a stirrer to stir this gloss paint because it's very important. The next thing is to put the black paste. I have the black paste already measured here, so I'll be putting the black paste. 
so just add the black paste in it the black paste is the colorant so we have produced this bucket have been used to produce black paint before it's just for you to to make tutorial so after adding the black paste the next is to steer to be very hard to steer. as you can see it's very strong So guys, I'm having a blend black resin back with black paste. So after blending, I think we have been able to achieve our paste with the black. The next chemical to add is your solvent, which is the kerosene. I'm using kerosene for my production. Sometimes you can use petrol, but petrol is not really advisable because kerosene will maintain the, the shininess of the gloss. This is why kerosene is one of the most recommended. It has measurements for you to add in every gloss paint production. We are producing, don't forget, we are producing a 4 liter gloss paint. So, guys, we are about to achieve our gloss paint. I started by adding the first chemical is the resin. You can see we are getting closer to the final product. After adding the black paint, we added, uh, I think we added a solvent, which is a very fast and had my mist dryer and anti skin and our gloss paint is ready for use I'm adding the mist dryer and the next is the anti skin the anti skin is the preservative before you, the anti skin is a preservative to blend and to protect the surface of the paint when not in use. So let me mix the mix dryer. Guys, I think our gloss paint is ready to use now. Our gloss paint is ready to use. We have it here as gloss paint. It is readily available. So now it's for me to test the gloss paint to check the opacity. Although gloss paint opacity is not so because black always have good opacity, but sometimes you need to check. The quantity of the colorant you are putting to increase the opacity in 